I'm gonna make a movie, okay? All right, so we'll make a little earth science video here. And um, a question on the regions last June inspired me to, um, to talk about this. Anyway, we're in a beautiful stream location in upper New Hampshire in the White Mountains. And we're sitting, my daughter and I came down to uh, cool off and um, look at this beautiful stream. Most 90% of the rocks you see in here are, um, are granite. And granite's very hard, but it's made up of different kinds of minerals. Quartz, feldspar, mica. And um, anyway, when this stream moves, it carries material down with it. And when it floods, and the velocity of the stream increases, it can pick up bigger and bigger pebbles and cobbles, things like this, okay? Right now, it might be able to transport sand and maybe some small pebbles on its bed. But this stuff can only move during floods. During extreme floods, you might get something maybe as big as this to move. And as these move, they come down and they hit and rub and roll, and the technical term is abrade. They abrade one another, which means basically to break pieces off and make them smaller, abrasion. And eventually, you're left with lots of stuff like this. So over time, you start with boulders like that, which at one time came from some mountain around here, and over thousands of years, they come down, they're eroded down, and they're abrading, which abrasion is a form of weathering, and you're left with this. And if you follow this stream more downstream, this stuff will get smaller and smaller, and eventually you'll come to where it's actually sand. The soft minerals, like mica, get weathered away first. Then you're left with quartz and feldspar, and eventually just quartz. Most sand is pure quartz. How do you like this, Maddie? Yeah. Now, anyway, so what you want to take out of this is concept of abrasion in a river or stream. Hope that was helpful. Bye.